Cover one, shiver one thousand here, and there's monkey. <laughs> We're taking this garbage back. We're gonna get something else. So oh. stick around. Okay, guys. We're bringing this back. In the Harbor Freight. There it is. That's what you want. That's, that's it. Yeah, that's what we was looking at, isn't it? Yeah. Alright. Well, we'll grab this. There's the radio. Yeah. <laughs> I says junk. He says, what, it don't work? Well, it does. junk. <laughs> but it's junk. Yeah. It's too bad, too. So. Yeah. Hopefully so. this light will be a better gift. Yeah. They don't have it up here this time. No. What do you have for here? Oh, yeah. Just point it down. There it is. That's what we're getting. Let's go find alligator clips. Okay. So, we just got out of, uh, Harbor Freight. The guy asked again, so it's not broke. No, it ain't broke. That don't mean it's not junk. I said brand new Ford's junk. It don't mean it's broke. <laughs> I said, man, the radio don't pick up. It just, you know, it's not worth it. Then he's, can I get you on the two year service plan for $9.99 on the late? And I'm like, no, not even a year. I said no. <laughs> if it breaks in a year, I'll just go buy another one. <laughs> yeah. You know, whatever, right, Mama? Yep. So, Doesn't always pay to buy those plans. So back there in the back, in the back seat there, and it was when we left the house, Monkey brought her. I like that Chevrolet. Yeah. You get distracted. It's, it's red, white, and blue. It's like the flag in <laughs> Chevrolet letters. Anyway. Uh, so I said, you brought your camera bag. She says, yeah, my camera stuff's in it. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured that. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't just bring the camera. She brought the whole bag. So she said, do you want to go down by the water? <laughs> I said, well, I suppose so, because you brought your camera equipment for something. <laughs> so we're heading down the water. I'll get some of that footage for you. So stick around guys, we're gonna have fun. <laughs> okay guys, so sorry about the wind. This is where we filmed when it was real low right after the hurricane, well one of the places. But it's low tide right now, so the water's back to normal. Monkey, as I mentioned a second ago, brought all her camera equipment. She forgot her card. So, she's using her phone. <laughs> oh my. Okay, so, here we are. Gloomy day, windy. So, alright, I'll be back with you. Got some fishing boats out here. I wonder if they're having a tournament. They're all in the same spots. Might be having some kind of fishing thing. Okay guys, so we're back home with our bower. <laughs> light. We're gonna open it up and check this out. See what it's like, but also got, this was on sale, this six inch magnet. So you can put parts and stuff in. Um, it was $3.99, right? Yeah. Yeah. Three ninety nine on sale for a dollar eighty nine, so I grabbed it. Yeah. And the four inch was two ninety nine. It wasn't on sale. Right. So I mean for a dollar eighty nine, yeah, I'm gonna grab one of these. I've got a couple in there, but always nice to have another one. And then I had to get some of these. 
so one one you know I need for my test light and then uh, I'm gonna make a couple uh, jumper leads they had jumper leads there but they were low voltage so you know you can put it so this way I can make the jumpers what I want right so all right guys so we'll get you down here we're gonna open this up we're gonna check it out and then when it gets dark we're gonna go outside and check it out but what I'm seeing on here that I didn't notice before is 140 foot beam distance so I hope it's not just a beam you know what I mean yeah all right well let's open it up and let's see uh, it's got battery or corded of course you don't get your battery extension cord or charger uh, 2,000 lumens 140 foot beam distance because that could be like the, the flashlight that your dad had that yeah I use all the time yeah dual power it says work light so you wouldn't think it'd be a beam I don't know. you know you would want your whole area lit up so for a longer run time use yeah they want you to buy the bigger more expensive battery um, and it says up to nine hours of run time 360 degree rotating hand I'm betting the nine hours is with that big battery mm -hmm. and it better run longer than nine hours when it's plugged in so <laughs> yeah you know so let's go ahead and let's get this opened up here but I did notice there is some damage on the top of the box here We stopped at a church sale, a yard sale. Before we left, Monkey said, when are you gonna work on your hut again? <laughs> but when we got there, when we got out there, we got this this yard sale on the way back, she saw these little lights. Yeah. And she said, look, these lights are cool. We can put them in our hut. <laughs> <laughs> and when, it, when, it, when it's time to work on it, it's my hut. But. So she got those cute little lights. All right, so we got our little manual booklet here. And we got the product itself. Pretty heavy, so maybe that's a good sign. Hopefully it's better than the radio. Yeah, it better be better than I'll take it back. This is the first time I've gotten three Christmas presents and still only have one. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, all right. Let's see, make sure it's 360 degrees. Yep, sure is. Okay. <laughs> all right. Let's put a cord down here on the bottom. Got a cord there. Um, and you can. Use this as a handle or a stand, whatever, so that moves around. So, what I forgot to do is get my battery. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, so in the meantime, while I go get my battery, <laughs> here, Mom, can you show them your little. Oh, my little stuff? Alright. So. I found these little lights and I was like, oh, this would be cute in our hut. So I got those, uh, two All boxes right, of them. They were $2 a box, so I thought, oh, that'd be cute. We can string them up. And then I was like, he said, well, where are you going to print them? And I said, probably in the inside somewhere. And he said, well, you could do the porch. And we could do the little porch on the front. So we might do the porch with these. Yeah, and they're pineapples. Yeah, they're pineapples. But they had um, <laughs> saguaro cactuses too. Yeah, they had the cactus. It's only four and a half feet lighted of lights. So. Yeah. Okay, so let's go already, ahead and. Already decorating. <laughs> there's the back battery, and you can plug it in. So I do like that. Um, Switch is on top, and that's pretty much all you need to know about it because that's all there is to know about it. You have to so, find a battery 
Yeah, I said yeah. that. I, I already said that, and I said not included. Yeah, which okay. I think it should be. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, right. So it's not a bean. That's cool. See. Can yeah, so it? we're going to show you guys outside when. Yeah, it gets a little darker. When it gets darker, but. There you go. I don't want to shine it Ooh. at them. All right. But yeah, when it gets dark, we're going to take it outside and check it out. Whoa. Oh, it has different levels. Two settings. Oh, wow. That's cool. Oh, sure. <laughs> okay, so there's high, there's low. Cool. Well, so it has nice. two settings. Now you can. Yeah. I just didn't want you being in the dark too long. I have a light on here. <laughs> she didn't want me being in the dark too long. Make it scary. It's a pretty crappy review there, Shea Bear. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so when it gets dark, we thought maybe camping, you know, set it yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, that's what we think. Set it on the picnic table. And uh, so, like, cooking, whatnot, when we're camping and uh, videotaping, that's mainly where I got it. Yeah. I mean, this underneath the car, that's kind of big. Bulky. To have underneath the car. But there's going to be other uses for this, like yeah. in the garage, you know, because when the garage door is open, you know, it covers the lights. Yeah. So, you know, I can hang it off the door. Now. Yeah. yeah. So, but we'll see how good it is at nighttime. All right. So we'll see you guys when it gets dark. Right, Monk? Yep. <laughs> I just fed three people for $2.30 each. You did. All right, guys. I don't know if you can see behind us, but it's dark out. Let's take this outside and try it. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, guys. Right there's the vat. Right behind it is the Chevy. So I'm going to have Monkey turn off the porch light. Okie dokie. Okay. And then we're going to turn this light on. All right, here we go. We got this light. Well, you can't see it, but here it is. <laughs> oh, nice. See, here's the light. Whoops. Turn off, car's coming. Okay, now let's go. Let's point across the street here. Let's see how far this will shine. Not bad. Not bad. What, you're not impressed? No. I'm impressed with that. Are you? Yeah, I am. Okay. Okay, now watch. I'll turn it off again. Okay. Uh -huh. Now I'm turning on. There it is. Nice okay, so here, let's do this. Let's do a little, a little experiment here. Okay. All right. Now. All right. I'm gonna turn this light off. All right, see there's with the light off, and there's with the light on. Yeah. Yep, you could. Yep. So you can see the table over there. There's my tractor. Yep. There's the trees. There's the trees. Okay. I got a cord here. So what we're going to do, I'll hold this monk. Sure. So I'm going to take this out, this battery out. And we're going to plug it in just to make sure the cord works. I mean, that's really all we're plugging it in for because nothing special there. No. And, uh-oh. There we there go. <laughs> so, yeah. there that is. Now what we're going to do is, I'm going to turn this back off, unplug it, we're going to go around back. Okie dokie. Okay. <coughs> Alright. Now, 
Here we go. Okay. I'll meet you there. We still got the light in our hands. Well, you can see the shed back there. Of course, the camera's not going to want to focus on it, but because I got you on auto autofocus, but say, look at this monk. See that? Yeah. Now I'll turn it off so you can see the shed. Yeah. That shed's about 40 feet. There's low. You still see the shed. Yeah. There it is without the light. I'll come up here a little bit because of the light from the window. All right. Now let's kick the light on. There we go. All right, guys, that's pretty cool. Hang on a second, I'll be back with you with our final thoughts. Okay, guys, so there you go. And that is the light behind us. I'll show you what I did. <laughs> <laughs> I set it up there on the uh, on the, the tripod cooker grill, <laughs> or whatever it's called, tripod grill. Um, it is bright, but it's not as bright as having a light on top of the camera right here, guys. Right. I don't think. Right. Do you? No. No. So, yeah, that'd be good. But it for, would be handy. Well, we're in Florida. Power outages. Yeah. I mean, we do have a generator, you know. Yeah. It's mechanical, so what? something could happen to it. That's yeah, right. Not want to start or whatever. We got a nice light. Yeah, it's always nice to have more than one. And I don't have to pull the battery out to use my thing and then put it back in. Right. I can, you know, I can just plug the light in, you know. Right. See what I'm saying? Yeah. You like that better than the other two? Yeah. Do yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm impressed with it. Yeah. Yeah. I am impressed with it. I was worried that it'd be more like a spotlight. Oh no. No, it's it's. Bright. So, because it said beam. Yeah. But yeah, I I like it. I mean. Yeah. You can see the house behind us, and mm -hmm. you know, so that'll be good for camping. Yes, it will. Yeah, mm -hmm. that'd be real good for camping. Yeah. Trying to cook in the dark or something? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I, I cook in the dark sometimes. Yeah. It's kind of a pain. I just set that up on the picnic table, shine it down. and. Yeah, that'll be really handy. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we'll use it more. Yeah, so far, like I said, later on, uh, I've got a video coming up soon, uh, here within a week or so, about uh, some other stuff I've reviewed and see how they're doing. Mm -hmm. So that'll be like later on, later in a year or something longevity make sure it's still working good or yeah have i found any faults with it right now i mean it's just a light you pick it up and move around but was it bright enough i think it is yeah. i didn't know it had two settings so that's yeah, nice I, yeah. to have two settings so so far two thumbs up i'll give it four and a half star i'll go four star since i'm not sure what the longevity is like on it mm -hmm. now i'm going four and a half because it's 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 dual power Mm -hmm. battery or electric yeah like it's not plugged in right now you know no no you're on your battery yeah but you can plug it in so you have two choices that's what i said yeah. dual power that's what i said <laughs> you have two choices so you know if i'm using my impact driver mm -hmm. i can still use the light yes yes it seems to be pretty versatile you know i mean seeing i could work on that corvette just fine if yeah. i had to yeah yeah. 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 All right, guys. Appreciate you watching, Monk. Monk, sit yourself for now, <laughs> y'all. Bye. Conk, conk. All right, guys. Shea Bear, the Myth Man Legend. I'm gone for now. Don't forget to stop by and visit her channel. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye, guys, and take care.